it seems not a single day goes by where we're not being told that AI is going to revolutionise everything. Between you and me, it can get a bit tiring sometimes. I mean, what has AI truly done for us? Well, more than you think, it's actually been around for quite a long time. One of the earliest developments came from a mathematician called Thomas Bayes in the late 1700s. He devised a theory based around probability, calculating the amount of time something has happened before to predict if it'll happen again. This theory is still used today to sort spam in your email, assess medical risks, and even decode DNA. Fast forward to the 1960s and Shaky the Robot appeared. He was the first ever robot to understand basic commands using AI. In the late 1990s, a computer used artificial intelligence to learn how to play chess, and it went on to beat the reigning world champion, Checkmate. Nowadays, one of the main ways AI is integrated into our everyday lives is through our smartphones and face recognition technology. The camera uses AI to create a depth map of your face by projecting over 30,000 invisible dots onto it so it can recognise you. It'll also notice changes in your appearance like new specs or a beard. This level of security is so advanced that the chances of a stranger unlocking your phone are one in a million. Predictive text messaging uses AI too, in the form of NLP, natural language processing, combined with machine learning. It keeps tabs on your writing style and learns which words you use the most. It can also protect you from fraud. Financial institutions use it to monitor your spending habits, allowing them to detect any funny business going on on your accounts and flag up activity that seems out of character. And customer service chatbots work using AI too. They've learned to recognise the text you type and predict the right answer, or if you prefer to speak to a human. Hi, is that TGS Bank? Voice recognition technology can verify who you are. It's a bit like a fingerprint. Transport companies also use AI to help us get from A to B. The machine learning algorithms used by this particular bus company uses learned information to let you know how far a bus is away and road conditions to give you a better estimation of when your bus is due. 45 minutes. I'll call an Uber. Ride hailing apps use AI as well to forecast demand for their services, accurate pricing and ETAs all before you click confirm pickup. Ah, oh, roadworks. Nobody likes roadworks, but they're getting a slice of the AI pie too. The UK's roads are currently being scanned and analyzed using artificial intelligence to check for things like bad road markings or potholes. So far, 100,000 miles of roads have been scanned, resulting in 150 million HD images. These are being analysed by machine learning to highlight areas for improvement. Home is where the AI is too. Our newfangled video doorbells use it to let us know if there's an unsavoury character knocking around outside. Even takeaway deliveries depend on it. Most are based in busy cities, so companies use machine learning models to predict delivery times and match riders with customers. Netflix uses machine learning to analyse your viewing habits and predict what you'd enjoy next. Even the thumbnails on your home screen are generated by AI. They are based on your viewing history and it chooses a style of image that it thinks will appeal to you most. So what has AI truly done for us? Well. A lot, it turns out, with plenty more to come.